Now, I'm not a, I'm not a genius. I wasn't born at night. I might have been born at night. Definitely wasn't born last night. I know propaganda when I see it, when I hear it. Little Nas X. Now, I remember I told this girl like two months ago when the song first came out. I said, if you put him in a lineup with 10 other people, I could not point him out. This is before the video came out. We don't have an emotional connection to him, most of us, because he's a new artist. So I don't think anyone's disappointed. <laughs> it's not like he lived this traditional heterosexual lifestyle and deceived everybody. But apparently he's coming out of the closet. Now, I think it's propaganda because he just happens to do it coincidentally. It's just a coincidence. He does it on the 30th, the last day of Pride Month, because that's what they made June, the month of Pride. I, I'm not buying it. I'm not saying he's not gay. I'm not saying he is. I think he is. I just think it was definitely an agenda. It was definitely organized for him to do it on the last day of the month. This is the guy with the number one song in the country, okay? The number one hit of the year. And they set this up so that he could still, you know, the shine. And it still didn't get overshadowed. It still got overshadowed because, I mean, let's be honest. The 30th was the first day of NBA free agency. People want to know where Kevin Durant's going and this one and that one. So it didn't really get that attention that they probably wanted. It probably was a failure to the LBGT community because they wanted it to drop up. It was supposed to be like a flex bomb drop, but I don't think nobody really cared. Now, Little Boosie made a joke about it when he talked about the lyrics, I'm going to ride the horse till I can't no more. And Boosie was like, okay, that's what he meant. He was laughing and a lot of people was harassing him. And it's crazy. They'll, they'll say you're being homophobic and harassing someone that's gay, but then when the person who makes the joke, they end up getting harassed. So now Lil Boosie's on fire on Instagram. Everybody's lighting his ass up. It's like, you can't win. You can't, you can't. but I, I think, like like my nigga said, little plant, little industry plant X. <laughs> That's what he is. He's an industry plant, you know. Now, when you look at his pictures or you see his interviews, I don't think it's really, you know, surprising that the boy is gay, but... I just don't think it's a coincidence. He just happened to come out the last day of the month of Pride. Like, that was all fucking propaganda. Nothing more, nothing less. They just, they're just they just using this kid as a prop. And, you know, I don't know if he's a one-hit wonder. He, do, he does have a song with Cardi B, ironically, that I think is going to be a hit also. But they're going to push this kid. He's officially in the club. It's just a lot of money in that in that club, man. You know, Common, he even tried to get some of that with his new book where he talks about his molestation as a child. And, you know, it's a lot of people getting close into that business because it's a lot of wealthy, powerful people in that business. And everybody wants a slice of the pie. So, yeah, Little Nas X is <laughs> coming out. Diana Ross. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just think it's bullshit, but... Let me know what y'all think, cause I I just don't buy it that this was just a coincidence. This a coincidence. No, this was this was planned. This was definitely mapped out all day long.